G'day everyone, Envy here and we're back with some more MTG Arena. Today we're playing Historic Deck, we're playing Copy and Paste. Now, this is actually a deck, a very similar deck, I versed in one of my most recent videos and I thought I'd give a crack at playing off the combo myself. The combo being only using two cards, which is Seagate Stormcaller from Zendika Rising and Neoform from War of the Spark. So let me um let me run you through this little combo first. Let's take these two and let's put them over here and we'll just talk about these two cards. I'll put them on, I'll put them over here. There we go. So um, basically, CK Storm Tower, when it enters the battlefield, if you don't kick it, um, basically the next instant sorcery you spell with a converted mana castle two or less, when you cast it, it copies it. Now what you do is this. You play CK Stormcaller and you play Neoform. Neoform sacrifices a creature. When you sacrifice that creature, you can search your library for a creature card with a converted mana cost of 1 plus the sacrificed creature. So if we sacrifice a 2 mana cost creature, we get a 3 out of our deck. And it gets a plus 1 plus 1 counter on the creature. And since we played Seagate so Stormcaller, it'll trigger twice. So we can do 2 Neoforms for 1 sacrifice. And since that sacrifice has already been paid, and we've copied it, we don't have to sacrifice again for the, the, you know, the next 20-30 copies. So... Seagate Stormcaller finds us our dual caster mage, who has the ability of when it enters the battlefield, it copies an instant or sorcery spell, and you copy Neoform again, and you find all your dual casters mage. Then you go and start copying your glass pool mimics, which you choose to become a dual caster mage, which then again copies the Neoform, and you do this four times. And then you choose your mirror image, which again will copy it. Four more times, you become dual custom mage, keep, 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 and then you finish off the deck by chucking out with your last two Neoforms that'll pop off. You choose Combat Celebrant, and you choose Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort. The reason I've chosen these two cards is as follows. Combat Celebrant, when it, when it, if you exert it, which means you you when you tap it to attack, it doesn't untap again, but who cares? It gives you a second combat phase. So, and Rubble Fort will give you haste. So if you play this right, even if you don't exert this card, you can do 38 damage in this one turn, which you can do as soon as turn three. If you um, if you combat Celebrant and use the ability, you're actually able to do, what is it, um, 76 damage in one turn by utilizing it correctly. So it's pretty cool things you can do with it. So let's, um, let's go put the deck back together and let's go through the other cards of the deck and I'll basically, you know, try and... Uh, give you a good idea of how it works. I'm going to chuck everything back so we can look at it in the actual way it should be done. So, in order to get this deck to work, we need to have two cards in the hand. We need to have the um, Seagate Stormcaller and Neoform. We really don't want to have any of our uh, combat pieces here. Any of these cards here, we don't want to see any of them in our hand at all. We don't want to see them because if we see them in our hand, we can't Neoform them out of the deck, which is, you know, kind of the whole deal. So, to help that, we've got a few cards. We're running four Gilded Goose. Now, Gilded Goose serves two purposes. First, it can mana fix us, and it allows us to get the combo off on turn three, as opposed to turn four, which is really good against aggro red decks. But there's also another way this helps. Um, if you, on turn three, have a Gilded Goose down, and you don't have Seagate Stormcaller, but you do have two Neoforms, you can Neoform the Gilded Goose, which will bring out a Stormcaller, and will do its copy effect, then you can use your second Neoform on the Stormcaller and begin the combo over. So you can start with just doing that, um, which is pretty cool. We're also running two Anticipates. This allows us to look at the top three cards of our library. You put one of them into your hand, the rest at the bottom of your library in any order. Typically, uh, we want to find our Neoforms and Seagate Stormcallers. Uh, the reason I'm choosing Anticipate, I used to run uh, Augur of Ballus in the deck. But Orga Balls only allows us to choose an instant or sorcery spell, and we have to reveal it. Um, once we reveal the card, the um, Neoform, once we re reveal Neoform, our opponent knows what we're doing and they can anticipate our moves. So I like Anticipate better because they don't get to see the card. We just pick one of the top three cards and put it in our hand. We're also running four Shimmer of Possibility. Um, this is an upgraded version of Anticipate, only as a sorcery instead of an instant, but you look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them in your hand, the rest of the bottom in any order. This is great because it means that we won't draw the combo pieces we need in the deck, and we can also try and search out the cards we need. We're also running four Paradise Druid for that mana fixing, again allowing us to play our combo on turn three, and it can't be killed as easily as Goose because it has Hexproof. As for the mana base, we are running 24 lands. I could probably cut it down to 22, but it's, 24 has been working really well for me. 
We're running three river guide pathway, two steam vents, two sulfur falls, three crag count pathways, two root bound crag, two stomping grounds, three breeding pool, three hinterland harbour, and four kietra triomes to round out our timber coloured deck. So, this deck's a lot of fun. Um, again, similar to what I did for my last deck, I'm playing this in. I'm going to play this in ranked because once people see the combo started, they just scoop, and I'm really hoping I can get a, a game where you actually see me hit them for 38 damage on turn three. So I'm going to play probably about six games uh, and just see how we do. And just we'll just look at all the the games we win, lose, doesn't matter. We're just going to play six and see how we do. Anyway, let's jump into some games and see how we do with copy and paste. Let's get going. All right, Rigu. Here we go. And it's not what I want. So Mulligan. Oh, I've got one. I'm going to keep this because I can always find it later. So let's go with this. This seems like a good hand for now. Shimmer should be able to find what I need. Oh, I can get what I need right now. Beautiful. It is tapped. Let's do it. We've got what we need. Hopefully, we don't draw too many um. Too many of our combo pieces. I don't want to draw them at all. To be honest, it'd be really good if I don't. Hmm. Oh, it's a dinosaur deck. Okay, beautiful. That makes me feel a little bit better. So, that. Let's play the harbor. Let's pass turn. We can do this next turn now. Beautiful. We got it. Let's just hope he tapped himself out. That'd be really great. Raptor Hatchling. Ooh. Ooh, he tapped himself out. Glorious. That is really nice. Oh, and I didn't hit the thing I wanted to. Beautiful. All right, so let's go. Let's go and make you a Greenland. We'll play the C8 Stormcaller. Play him. Trigger it double. Neoform. Auto pay that. Uh, sacrifice you. Alright, here's where the fun begins. So we'll go dual cast a mage. Dual cast a mage. Into dual cast a mage. Dual cast a mage. Into dual cast a mage. Into another dual cast a mage. Into a mimic who becomes a dual cast a mage. Into a Mimic, who becomes another dual caster mage. I wonder if he'll let me get the whole thing before he um he scoops. Because he's pretty screwed. Not much he can do about this now. Alright, now we, now we start the fun that is the Mirror Images, who become here as well. So we're going to end up with uh, 12. 36 damage here. So let's keep going. Again. Good. That's all my that's all my copies out of the way. So let's go with the combat celebrant. Give us that double stroke and rubble fort for hasty boys. All attack. This one I'm gonna go exert him. And he's gonna scoop. Beautiful. Perfect. That was a good turn three one we got, so I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Alright, game number two, we're versing Lightning Creep. And here's hoping for a really good hand. Ooh, well, I do have, I'm in a mulligan, and I'm probably going to regret that. Let's see, one more mulligan. I will keep five. It's not the greatest one, but... I'll drop you, and I will drop the breeding pool, and let's just hope we find what we need. I'll play that. I will say, oh, hello, oh, oh, hello. where's my thing? Hello there. Sorry about that. Didn't even see you there. Gates are good, so I'll play you. I'll play a gilded goose. I play second gilded goose. Since I don't think he's playing any counter spells, we could just be okay with just waiting till we get near form. Ah, oh, it's ah uh, sanctums. All right. Oh, okay. Well, this is where we need to be. Uh, shimmer possibility. Find me. Oh, another shimmer possibility. 
we need to just be super cautious about where we are. So I'm going to go with a blue land. And I'm going to try one last time to see if I can grab a Neoform from the top four cards. Because that way we can still... Mm, that's not Neoform. Well, I'm going to grab myself a Sulphur Falls, because, you know, at least that's a thing. And no attacks, pass the turn. We did jump through a bunch of cards, so I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. But, alright, so this is a Sanctum deck. Glass or Mimic is not as much fun as you'd think it would be. So, we'll go with Sulphur Falls, and we will pass our turn. Hopefully, we find what we need. Because the one, the only one that worries me, honestly, well, he doesn't have enough mana to tap my creatures. Because it doesn't matter, I'll have so many, it won't matter. That's kind of a problem. Luckily, they don't run a lot of counter spells. If we can just find a Neoform, we should be alright. Alright. My turn. Oh, it's a Stormcaller. That's not what I want. Um... I'm going to just pass turn and we'll see if we can get it. He hasn't really got his wing condition off, so we could still find what we need. We are two of our things out, but that's okay. It's kind of annoying where we're at, but you know, it is what it is. I really would like to find it real quick, that would be super nice. But I think I'll start playing these lands. Um, yeah, another guild summit. He's really running out with no lands, but he is kind of... These aren't shrines, so that's good. Sure. He's going to draw a lot of cards, though. So If he finds his win condition, we're in a bit of trouble. So um, let's see if we get it. Oh, that's not what I want. No, no, no. I'm going to go and make my glass pool. Um, I'm just going to pass it. We're going to just go one more turn, then I think we'll just go with the scoop, because I don't think we're going to find it. This really is what you call a glass cannon, and if you don't have the things you need straight away, then you're pretty screwed. Uh, we've been through a lot of cards, and we still haven't found a copy of what we need. So, and we've already lost three of our copy spells. So, it's a bit of trouble. He will be able to tap our creatures with his mana, but I don't think he has enough to really uh, bother me too much. Using the guild summits with it is pretty cool. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, he has no mana left, so if we can, if we can find it... Mm, nah, um, it's, a, it's a good game, and I'm just going to concede that one. He can have that one. Because we just, it was too late. We just didn't have the stuff we needed, you know? So, that's fine by me. Alright, moving on to game three. Hopefully we start off with the cards in our hand. Let's not too get too greedy. Well, this is none of the things, so... Let's just, uh, mulligan. If we can find some search cards and one of the combo pieces, I'm pretty happy. So, um... Definitely gonna mulligan this one. Because... Although I do like Gilded Goose, um, it's not anything I want. You, I'm going to keep it because I got search cards. Dual um, Master can go back because I need him for later for my combo. So we'll just leave it at that. I do need some more lands, but Shimmer should be able to find me the cards I need. I'm just going to say hello. He's playing Life Gain. That's okay by me. I'm going to go with... Ooh, each one's going to get tapped out because I don't have the lands I need, so I will definitely just start with the Hinterland Harbour. Comes in tapped, that's fine. We'll go Pathway with a green and go with Simmer of Possibility. So this is aggro. We need to move quickly. I've got the cards. Beautiful. Oh my god, that makes me so happy. Um, so let's go with a green land. Let's go Shimmer, and let's hopefully find another land. Um, we can't do it next turn anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I will just go with the Catch Triumph. But there you go, not next turn, the turn after we will be able to do the combo, we have all the pieces I need. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm done one dual caster mage, which is kind of sucky, but as long as I have one in the deck, I can run all the other combo pieces and just be fine. Alright, so he's going full out with this combo. 
he might have a bit too much life. But if we exert, we should be able to do enough damage to defeat him, so it's all pretty good. It's all pretty good for me. Uh, go catch a Triome. We'll go with the Shimmer. Might as well. Uh, let's go pull a... Mm, let's pull a Paradise Druid out. Why not? And we've got him for next turn. Beautiful. Alright, so he's going full, full, full ball. Ah, beautiful. So how much life can he gain in this turn? Only this has life link, right? Yeah, so he'll be able to do... He'll gain 3 extra life. He goes to 30. I have enough damage I can do this. So it's fine by me. 31. Alright, so he's got lots of creatures. So I'm... Oh, man. Hmm. Can I do the damage I need in one turn? Alright, let's see. If I go Storm Tamer, I will go... Let's see. Um... We're missing one, so we'll have four, four, eight, eleven, eleven times three, which is thirty-three damage. He will block one, block one, block, block. They'll go through, and we can hit him again the next turn, assuming we don't die. Hmm. And we combat celebrate. That could be really cool. I think we do the. I think we do the combo and just see if we can actually um, see if we can get it to go. So, I'll play my Seeing Eight Stormcaller. Uh, Neoform. Go with the Seeing Eight Stormcaller. Let's go all out. Let's, uh... Yeah, go dual cast a mage. Uh, yeah, maybe he... It's, it's possible he just might... He might just uh, scoop out of frustration. So, let's hope he does that. Fingers crossed. And he doesn't have a board wipe next turn. So, that would be pretty terrible. Uh, too bad I got the Combat Celebrant in my hand, so that's kind of annoying. So, you know, it is what it is. Mirror Image, let's go again. Now, he's got a lot of life, which is really not fun for me. So, let's see. if we Let's just work this out correctly. I want to do this right. I don't want to mess up my amount of damage I can do. Uh, let's go Mimic. So that's a, we should be able to have 11 creatures out on the field. Uh, mimic. Just make sure we get everything we need. So that's another Mimic there. And we'll go another Mimic. Put him out. Now, uh, let's go with the Rubble Fort. It gives me haste. Okay, and that's... I've got no other ones because he's in my hand, so that's good. Now, here's the question. If I swing and I go all my creatures, he'll block... Th I'll, I'll lose three. But then next turn, he'll be attacking for one, two, three, four, five. This this is... The, uh, these two, I've got to have blockers up. So I think we'll go with... Okay, these three are going to die. I think we we'll go with you, 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 you. You, you, and we'll hold up one, because that, okay, so 10 attackers, that's 33 damage altogether. So he has to block, I'll block you, I can block you, I'll take 4, 5, 6, 7, that's fine. And then we can go Combat Celebrate next turn, assuming he doesn't kill them all. That's one gone, that's two gone. Is he going with Linden? He's going to let them all go past. Even if I block him, it's not enough to kill me. Let seven go. It's fine. I got two blockers. So, I block the eight, block the three. Still not enough. That thing doesn't get haste, so that's good. Hmm, maybe I made too many go out. I block three, three, seven. Mm. He will gain the life, and he can just put them on the ones that I don't block, and I can win. 
All right, we've got to think carefully about this one. I'm pretty sure we... Oh, no, I think he's got us. Honestly, I think he has us. I think I, over, I overstepped my bounds. I should have just kept another two out and then gone with the um, Comet Celebrate next turn. Ah, it sucks that I drew this card. I think that's what kind of screwed me over. He'll gain one, two, three, four, five, six. He'll get six more counters. He'll probably put them on this one and he wins. So, yeah, I'll just give him the GG because I'm not going to waste his time. He can have that one. All right, broken dreams. Watching as my dreams are broken right now. So, let's go. Oh, wow, I actually have everything I need. Um, even without a mirror's image. So, I, yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. I got... I got the pieces I need for the puzzle, so I think we'll just go with this. Oh man, I hate when I um I hate when I draw the combo combo pieces when I don't need them. As long as I don't do, um as long as I don't drop uh tuck for tuck tuck or um exert man, I should be okay. But here we here, let's just let's see how it goes. Okay, that's a neo form. That's fine. All right, so and just tapped. Okay, so two more cards we draw, and hopefully we don't hit any other combo pieces I need. Otherwise, we're in a bit of trouble. Since oh, a little bit worrying, but okay. Hopefully he pays out all his mana. All right, so it's an explore deck. That's pretty good. What did he find? Swamp and the Knight of the Evan Legion. All right, that's that's cool. You gonna put that in the? No, you put it in the grave. Interesting. All right, cool. Well, that's the. That is. I just tapped. Beautiful. All right, so past turn. He is hoping we do not hit one of the red cards we need, and he pays out all his mana. I really hope he does. Fingers crossed that he pays all his mana. If he screws it up, we do have another turn where we can do it. He's playing Night of the Evan Legion. Hopefully, play some more cards. He didn't. A bit worrying, but let's go Siren. Let's go see get Stormcaller and see if we can get this off. He might have a destruction spell and kill it before I can activate Neoform. If he does do that, that's fine because we can just do it again next turn. We have the combo pieces here, so it's fine. Alright, so it sacrifices, which is great because he can't respond to it, which is super awesome. Alright, cool. Well, here we go. Party's beginning. Here we go. Even if you destroy it now, it doesn't make a difference. The whole thing is, it's can't be, this can't be stopped. Even if you kill, do cast the mage, it will still activate. So, <laughs> it's, it's all, well actually he can, he can kill Rubble Fort at the end, and then just board wipe us. That would actually work as well. But hopefully he doesn't, and we can just go for it. Alright, we are going to be down two, because we don't have, um, um, we're missing two mirror images, which is, you know, it's alright, I guess. He's thinking what he's doing. He can make this guy bigger. He's pro- I'm just worried he's got a removal spell and he's going to do something <laughs> to, to screw me over, um, when I get to Tuk Tuk. Is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Let's go another glass pool. Let's go again. The only thing I have I have with uh, combo decks like this is that if they mess up your combo and you're just like, oh, I have no other way out. This is this is it, this is a one trick pony. We do this and that's it. That's our that's our game plan. I'm just hoping he doesn't have a removal spell. I'm just really hoping he doesn't. Um, and that he doesn't ball wipe us next turn. <laughs> uh, uh, mirror image on you. Yeah, do we have enough to win? Probably, if I can go with my power to exert. Um, he's definitely he's definitely got a response, so he's probably waiting. Got a combat celebrant. I would remove Combat Celebrant, I were you, but if he does remove it, then we're in a good position. Now we all got haste. Your I'm assuming he's going to kill Top Rubble Fort. If he's got a removal spell, no, nah, he didn't have one. Beautiful. Whew. All right, dreams not so much broken anymore. Now we're back to square one. 
<laughs> went up, to, you know. Oh well, easy come, easy go. All right, Draconis. Um, I'm going first. But I'm gonna mulligan. I don't want that. I need at least one combo piece or some search cards, and I don't want dual cast. I'm gonna go mulligan one more time and hopefully get a better hand. Fingers crossed for me. Oh yeah, this is good. All right, um, I'm gonna drop me one land and one goose because. In my mind, the Shimmer possibilities are much more important because they allow me to find um, the combo piece. Oh, green is great. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, beautiful anticipates here. All right, let's go Shimmer possibility. Ooh, none of those are one I want, but I would like land, so I'll take land. Land is good, so that's good. They all go down the bottom, which is good for me because I don't draw them. Alright. Paradise Druid's fun. Um, I'm going to go with the Shimmer of Possibility again. Ooh, none of those are what I want. But, let's go River Glide Pathway. And we'll play the blue side of River Glide Pathway. Alright, cool. So we'll go Anticipate and we'll hit with a Paradise Druid. Which should give us a little blocking power. Uh, well, the Clover still exists in Thing, so you know. Pretty good. Uh, blue. Let's go with. Um, let's go shimmer. Can I find what I'm looking for? <sighs> no, but I will take. I'll take another Seagate because why not? And we'll go anticipate. I mean, I'm really just searching through my deck, and I'm really not finding what I want, am I? Each step brings me a little bit closer to hitting one of my combo pieces. So that's kind of not fun. Alright, beautiful. Please let me hit it this turn. Because with with no no lands up... Oh man, that's Seagate. That sucks. Oh, there's three Seagates. Alright, we'll just check these two down. Give us a bit of wiggle room and hopefully hope for the best. We've managed to go through four search cards and haven't found what we're looking for. Uh, no blocks, let it happen for five damage. Oh man. Man, past turn. I'm gonna block next to this turn. Man, I think this is another another GG. Um, in terms of for me, I think this is GG here. Yeah, I'll block one. I can't take another five damage like that. Oh man. Oh. Please give it to me. Come on. Oh god, that's not fun. Alright, uh, Mirror Image, you get to become a Paradise Druid as well. So, he's in a good mood now. I, f I swear I'm just get I'm really getting screwed over by the, um, <laughs> by the, the shuffling. <laughs> he's got double Lucky Clover. I mean, if he gets the bounce spell out, we are so screwed. So, I'll block with you. I'd rather lose Paradise Druid than lose more stuff. He can actually play Stomp on his turn. He can absolutely play. Oh. oh, he's playing all his mana. Oh, wow. That's really good. If I can get... Oh, yes! Oh, my dude. Yes! Because I know now he can't do it. And I, I'll have enough. And I didn't hit any of my guys except for one dude. So I'm super happy how this turned out. Your adventure is over, my friend. Since you only have one mana up, you definitely can't use a... You can't use a... Brazen Borrower, and you can't stop me. You have to just sit there and accept what's about to happen. You need to accept what is about to happen. Let's go. I will say this this deck I'm playing now, this is probably one of the most stressful decks I've I've played because of the randomness of getting the cards you need. 
I mean, it's just two cards you need to start to, to 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 win. But the problem is those two cards are just really hard to make sure you get them and not hit all your other cards as well. All right. Well, we're down one because one is over here. Um, let's go with the celebrant. Unless he's running a shock in his hand, that would kind of suck. All right. Next to combat, all attack. Make sure I exert him. 14 attackers, go. Now there'll be another combat phase. So even if he blocks, we'll get another combat turn. Doesn't matter. He still loses. Whew, that was good. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, so technically this will be game... This is game 6. It's actually technically game 7 because game 6 didn't let me... Um, yeah, it didn't actually let me play the game because it decided, you know what? You don't get to actually... Um, you don't get to actually play because we're going to make you lose network connection instead. This is good. I got near form and maybe I'll draw the card I want. I don't really think it matters at this point. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go first now. Um, keep this five. Drop you away. Drop you away. Done. And we'll just go with the Ketra Triome. We've got Shimmer of Possibility. Hopefully we can find what we need. I'm definitely going to have to play my Mimic and my Gilded Goose next turn. Um, but at least I didn't hit... Oh, no, actually, I don't have to, which is really solid. Actually, we'll just pay the two life here. Let's go with Shimmer of Possibility. Hopefully, we can find... Ah, uh, there it is. Beautiful. That's what I'm looking for. There he is. Oh, it's a Garuda deck. Okay, well, if we hit a land, we should be able to do this by turn three. Turn four. Hopefully. He could have counter spells up. Oh, no. No, 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 well, that's the end of us. We got Thought Erasure. Can you believe that? I don't believe it. Hmm. Well, we lost one combo piece now, which is kind of sucky for us. Oh, there goes, there goes Storm Tamer. Although, it's not actually the end of the world, because if I can find another Nero form, we should be able to be, um reasonably okay so i will enter tapped i will play my gilded goose actually the game is not over because if i can find another neo form i can still do it i can just gilded goose and then get him into that and then him onto that one and then just do that which should be fine assuming do we don't get thought erasure again fiddle fit the lost is fine ah oh, man i was so close and I was like so close and yet so far. All right. Uh, oh, yes. Another one. Glorious. And we'll go. Uh, okay. So, past it. Okay. Assuming I don't get Thought of Asia again, which is a big assumption. I know I'm making a big assumption. I'm kind of like hoping and dreaming I don't get Thought of Asia again. But, oh, I've got him. Yes. Mmm. The feels. Feels good. Pass attackers. You want to attack me? I don't care, honestly. You could do what you want. It's my turn. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Neo form. I want you to go Gilded Goose. Get him. Now we've got a way out. Hit the field. I'm going to go Neo form on you. Glorious. So we actually got to... We actually got it off anyway, so it's fine. The combo still works, regardless of whether or not um, <laughs> he took out one. Where there's one, there is always another. So that's always fun. Thanks, Donko, for being a good sport about this. I honestly thought he was going to play a counter spell, but he didn't, which is great for me. We only used up one glass pull mimic in the actual deck, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out.
you gotta make sure you don't hit any of the other guys. You just hit the um the copy creatures first. Beautiful. Uh, another mirror image, please. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Thanks, mate. I, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, Combat Celebrant. And Rubble Fort. Next to combat. All attacks. Exert him. 12 attackers, go. Get a second combat phase. Beautiful. And I'll just go with the, hit him with the good game, my friend. Glorious. Another glorious victory. Alright, so that makes four wins, two losses. And didn't quite get to gold. So, maybe we'll try one more. Let's go, let's... Uh, I don't know, maybe. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, we ended up going with four wins and two losses, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, considering that, you know, uh, we did lose against some super aggro decks. We just got... Um, yeah, we just didn't draw the cards we need. But with this, you're pretty happy with mulliganing a few times. You don't want to start with too many of these cards. And, I mean, you could probably play this deck, again, effectively. If you just... Maybe you might even want to take out four mirror images and put some other search cards in. That way you're less likely to draw your combo pieces. Or even I might take a mirror image, one mirror image out and maybe stick in another um, celebrant, maybe two mirrors out, another celebrant, another rubble fort, just in case, so we can actually grab them if we happen to have them in our hand. But anyway, that was the deck for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button and possibly hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all the new decks I make. I do post a new video up every second day. If you enjoyed this deck, let me know what you liked about it in the comments section below. And if you have any ideas for future decks you'd like me to try out, or suggestions on how to make this deck even better than it currently is, please leave that in the comments section below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your support, and I will see you all again next time. Bye for now, everybody.